Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us start this lecture with a thought process by Gordon Brown who says the climate change is a consequence of the build of greenhouse gases over the past 200 years in the atmosphere and virtually all these emissions came from the rich countries and it is really very uh, profound statement so far our health of atmosphere is concerned which was basically caused after the industrial revolution begins around 1800 century. So, let us recall what we learned in the last lectures, uh, last few lectures or let us recall that what we learned uh, till date so far about combustion. We basically looked at various aspects of the combustion and uh, what are the mechanism in it, but and also how it can be applied uh, for uh, the welfare of human beings. But today we will be looking at how this environment is getting spoiled due to the exorbitant or due to the excess uses of combustion devices. And uh, we will be looking at basically the combustion and environment and I will be uh, uh, looking at, uh, we will be discussing about uh, basically uh, in a brief manner what are the pollutants comes from the combustion sources and uh, what are its ill effect on the environment. So, uh, if you look at any combustion device, we always try to have complete combustion. Question is a why? is complete combustion important, uh, right? And uh, of course, that is important for our environment because incomplete combustion leads to inefficient combustion system. That means, the combustion efficiency of the combustion device will be uh, lower if the incomplete combustion is taking place. As a result, lot of fuel will be going unburnt uh, out from the combustion system. As a result, the overall efficiency of the combustion system will be low and the energy utilization will be also reduced considerably if the incomplete combustion will be taking place in the combustion device. Incomplete combustion leads to emission of pollutants which affects the environment adversely and uh, air pollutants uh, basically are caused due to the uh, combustion products coming out from the combustion devices and incomplete combustion means more unburnt hydrocarbons which will be uh, emitted from the system apart from the other. Uh, constituents of the flue gases coming from the combustion system and uh, therefore, it affects the air, uh, air uh, quality and air pollutants affect our environment and also the human health. It is not only affecting the human health, also the uh, health of the all living beings and non-living beings as well. So, uh, Questionary is uh, there are various kinds of combustion products or combustion pollutants which will be emitted from the uh, combustion systems and those pollutants basically can be broadly divided into two categories. In other words, the combustion generated uh, pollutants can be classified into two categories. One is the primary pollutants that means, the pollutant which are formed inside the combustion system and 
that are being uh, basically adjusted out to the atmosphere. Others are secondary pollutants which is uh, being formed in uh, due to the constituents of the combustion products which will be uh, undergoing a changes uh, reacting in the atmosphere and then you will burn. So, therefore, primary pollutants are basically produced directly by the combustion devices. As I told that uh, it is basically several kinds of pollutants will be formed uh, in the combustion device namely the carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, unburnt hydrocarbon, NOx, SOx several of them. And uh, of course, some of these will be reacting with the uh, atmosphere uh, constituents and then that as a result uh, this uh, primary pollutants will be undergoing changes and into secondary pollutants uh, after being interacting with the environment. And that is a basically uh, for that purposes we will have to look at atmospheric chemistry which we will not be uh, talking about in uh, these lectures, we will be mostly concerned with the primary pollutants which will be uh, basically formed uh, inside the combustion device during combustion. So, uh, let us look at what are the emissions uh, comes due to the burning of fossil fuels. Uh, one is of course, I have told you carbon oxides, it can be carbon monoxide, it can be carbon dioxide and there is also if uh, the uh, incomplete combustion takes place, mostly it will be taking place due to various regions, particularly in engines where the uh, combustion takes place in a very complex environment. Like if you look at automobile engine, the piston will be moving up and down and also there will be coolant which will be cooling the piston and also the uh, casing um, or the body of the engine. And uh, therefore, there will be a unburnt hydrocarbons like a methane, C 2 S 2, C 2 H 4 and several un, uh, other things which will be uh, coming out from the combustion system. And uh, these will be are very dangerous uh, from various reasons and they will be also reacting with the uh, radicals present in the um, atmosphere. So, uh, therefore, it will be creating imbalance in the atmosphere. Beside this, if the fuels contain sulphur, uh, then uh, of course, uh, there will be generation of sulphur oxides like uh, sulphur uh, dioxide, uh, sulphur oxide and also the um, sulphur uh, carbon uh, disulphide, C also the C S 2 and uh, the reduced uh, nitrogen compounds uh, will be formed during the combustion of fossil fuel with air because air contains nitrogen and also some of the fuels which will containing some nitrogen that is known as fuel NO will be formed NH, SCN and also uh, other uh, components like uh, will be formed like hydrogen cyanide. NH is basically radical which is uh, reactive in nature and beside this of course, the nitrogen oxides will, which will be formed nitrous oxide, uh, nitrogen dioxide, nitric oxides all will be formed due to the basically uh, the presence of nitrogen in air uh, in a, a very large quantities. So, uh, beside this the particulate matters are being formed. Uh, most of you will be aware that uh, hydrocarbon basically produces a soot which is a carbon particulates being formed during the combustion. And beside this like other particulates particularly when you are handling the solid and liquid fuels which you will be getting as a part of the fuel itself. Uh, for example, ash, other minerals and other things oxides will be formed and which are being emitted uh, from the combustion devices. 
So, these are the major uh, pollutants which will be formed during the combustion of fossil fuels and uh, also the biomass uh, fuels. And uh, we will be looking at uh, some of them uh, and also we will be learning how to control them and what are the ways to reduce or minimize the emission level from the combustion system. So, as I told that NH, uh, if you look at the CS2 is well carbon disulfide, which is a very poisonous uh, substance and like NH is imbidogen, which is also uh, very reactive and it will be acting SCN is hydrogen cyanide, which is also a very poisonous gas and so also the other things which will be affecting the health and also the structure. So, uh, let us see that in what ways pollutants affect our environment. And environment plays a very important role because we breathe air, it is not only the we, but also uh, the other living beings uh, breathe air for their survival. And if it is being affected by the combustion uh, products emitted from the combustion devices, and naturally uh, it is a great concern. And uh, a considerable change uh, being observed by various researchers uh, while they are uh, characterizing the atmosphere over the years and it is you might be knowing uh, most of the cities particularly the metros uh, in India are really having high pollution levels and uh, which are affecting uh, not only the health also the structure health of the structures like of buildings and then uh, bridges and other mat things and also the several materials which are getting affected due to the pollutants emitted uh, by the combustion uh, sources. And uh, also it affects the water pollution for example, in power plants the water being used as a scrubbing uh, the uh, product gases or the uh, flue gases. So, therefore, that also gets uh, affected and then uh, the water uh, of the river and other uh, water bodies are getting affected due to that. And uh, the pollutant is having harmful effects on the vegetation and uh, the whole chain food chain is being affected by the combustion pollutants and also the other pollutants from other industrial activities. Of course, the human health in terms of higher morbidity and mortality uh, is being increasing day by day due to the pollutants uh, formed by the combustion system. And it is not only the human health, but also the animals and other insects and other things are getting affected. Keep in mind that all are connected with each other. One cannot really think of uh, leaving aloof of the system. So, therefore, uh, this man made uh, pollution which is uh, really creating havoc uh, in breaking the uh, chain which is was prevailed by the our mother nature and uh, it may happen that uh, we will be in deep trouble. Uh, or we are heading towards the catastrophic situation where the living beings will be at stake on this beautiful planet. And um, let us look at major health el elements which are caused due to the environmental pollution. And uh, as uh, we already learned that SOx and um, NOx are being emitted by the combustion systems. SO2 and NOx are basically uh, NOx means NO, NO2, N2O all those uh, oxide gases nitrogen oxide gases. Uh, those are uh, really cause the respiratory elements like acute and chronic bronchitis. So, therefore, you might be seeing that these are all increasing in order even the lot of youth are suffering because of this forget about the old people uh, who are uh, always suffer. And the beside this, uh, the it these pollutants can cause the chest pain, breathing problem, cough and cold, and several other elements uh, being uh, 
caused by the these pollutants. And the photochemical smoke, uh, if you look at it is a big problem like uh, in uh, China uh, during the winter season, they had uh, forced to close down the activities in cities. So, also in Delhi and other adjacent areas are affected adversely by the smoke particularly during the winter season and uh, this causes uh, basically eye irritation and, the respiratory and affect the respiratory system and also visibility and other activities are being reduced. And some other cities in uh, like Kanpur and other places we are facing the problem of smog. Beside this uh, the carbon monoxide uh, label pollutants carbon monoxide causes uh, basically headache, dizziness, reduction in mental activity and can have a vomiting or nausea tendencies provided if human being is exposed to higher level of carbon monoxide for a little longer period and which I am going to show you how it can lead to the death or a termination of life. So, uh, if you look at, uh, if you consider this figure percentage of carbon uh, monoxide, you can see that if it is uh, time period is given exposure hour, it is in log plot 1 and 10 hours. If the label is uh, 15 uh, ppm, that is uh, not much problem and uh, if of course, the exposure even if it is a longer period, if it is 30 period there is no problem, it is a green one. But however, if you look at this is a, uh, it is a 300 ppm label and if you go for maybe 1 or 2 hour exposure, you may get a throbbing headache and uh, this is basically could have been here and 100 ppm uh, if you get uh, then 300 ppm you will get uh, vomiting or a collapse kind of things and if you go to a little higher level you know it can go to the coma and then if you go beyond 600 ppm then what will happen even uh, a very small amount of time it may lead to a death kind of things. So, therefore, one has to really worry about the effect of the carbon monoxide on the human health because it is causing a lot of other diseases. These are of course, the things what uh, people are talking about, but therefore, the PPM lab uh, therefore, the problem. So, we will have to look at how to minimize the ca carbon monoxide uh, from the combustion uh, systems. <coughs> so, air pollutes and sources if you look at as I told earlier that we are using the automobiles for our transportation. Now, the cities are being studied with uh, basically the cars and then uh, bus, buses and several other motorcycles. Now, uh, as a result uh, that it is causing a lot of pollution. You can see it is a daytime, but the smoke you can see from this figure is very difficult to uh, you know see the. Uh, cars and other visibility is quite poor in this uh, picture and uh, automobiles really causing a lot of havoc for that of course, although a lot of research are being going on to improve the quality of combustion in the internal combustion engine. However, with the increased number of uh, uses the pollutants uh, uh, accumulated by this um, emitted from this automobiles are quite high. Beside this the process industries uh, which really um, emits a large amount of uh, combustion generated pollutants and also the other chemical pollutants uh, which are uh, really of great concern because it is affecting the quality of air uh, adversely. Beside this there is a increase in transport uh, air air transport which is really causing not only the uh, low atmospheric uh, pollutants, but also the in stratosphere where ozone layer and other, uh, other things uh, other uh, layers which should, should have protected us is getting affected because of uh, a, uh, air transport because of increase in air transport or uses of planes. Uh, and it also um, 
causes a lot of uh, other disturbances like noise pollutions and other things even in the ground level. And uh, thermal power plant is also one of the major uh, contributor of the air pollutants emitted from the combustion system. And oil refineries because of uh, we are living in a petroleum uh, driven economy system. So, that uh, the oils are being used very much petroleum products on is become a part and parcel of uh, human uh, activities. And as a result that also causes a lot of pollutants uh, being emitted to the atmosphere directly and uh, that is causing havoc across the globe. Uh, and uh, we are using more amount of petroleum uh, uh, products and also the petroleum uh, fossil fuels for our uh, day to day activities. And beside this the forest fire which is cause of great concern because it is uh, uncontrolled combustion and that really emits large amount of uh, combustion generated pollutants. And uh, of course, the forest is being receded. So, therefore, the forest fire might be getting reduced, but however, there is a, a concern for that, uh, that this pollution uh, must be abated or the forest fire must be really minimize uh, such that uh, you can reduce the emission uh, from the uh, forest fire. And uh, let us uh, look at how we can really see this uh, chemical emission uh, from the combustion sources right. And uh, most of the fossil fuel can be depicted by the following chemical equation like uh, you can see that I can uh, represent the, the hydrocarbon in terms of C x and H 2 y and uh, which can react with the uh, air this is your air oxygen and 3.77 n 2. And if you uh, look at balance this one you will get basically this is y of water and x of CO2 carbon monoxide and you will get 3.76 x plus y divided by 2 nitrogen. So, this is basically balance expression for a generic hydrocarbon this you can call at a generic hydrocarbon. For example, if I say this is uh, C H 4 that means C H 4 what it would be basically this will be C 1 and H uh, 2 into 2 basically it is a uh, X is 1 in this case and Y will be if I take this one of uh, methane then x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. So, if I consider basically methane then what I will do I can write down C H 4 x is equal to 1, 1 plus y is equal to 2 that means 2 oxygen plus 3.76 nitrogen is equal to 2 water plus x is 1 C O 2 plus 3.76 into uh, that is 2 into 2 nitrogen right. So, uh, therefore, this can be generic you can go for propane, you can go for methane, you can go for any other uh, hydrocarbons uh, of course, the unsaturated hydrocarbons. Then uh, you can keep that what is the name this is of course, a stoichiometric mixtures right this is for mixture and it is balanced therefore, you are getting carbon monoxide and water there is no unburnt hydrocarbon and there is no uh, carbon monoxide and other of course, NOx other things we are not considering. Therefore, uh, it is quite uh, clean and uh, very nice to look at it. 
but however, the fuel contains sulfur and also some percent of oxygen if you look at alcohol, nitrogen and certain heavy metals like a carb, coal and other fuels. And air also contains large amount of nitrogen that we know. As a result, the combustion process leads to the formation of NOx. We have already seen that uh, there will be three gases like NO, NO2, N2O, right. And uh, SOx, also sulfur dioxide, sulfur oxide, and similarly COx, you will get uh, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, unburnt hydrocarbon, particulate matters. And the quantities uh, of these pollutants are sufficient enough to affect the quality of atmospheric air because we, uh, the amount of fossil fuel is being used is increasing day by day. So, uh, let me give you some number which uh, may not be very accurate, but however, you can say the total amount of fossil fuel burnt was around 6.2 gigaton per year. Now, if you look at for 1 kg of methane, you get something uh, around uh, uh, large amount of carbon dioxide. So, therefore, the carbon dioxide being formed due to the burning of 6.2 gigaton per year will be at least uh, much higher level. So, another source of pollutant emission from combustion is the biomass because as I told there is a forest fire and beside this in agricultural products they burnt in the field itself particularly in India, in northern India. As a result that causes a large amount of emissions from the field. And uh, total amount of biomass fuel burnt was around some 3 to 4 gigaton per year across the globe. So, therefore, the uh, amount of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and then unburnt hydrocarbon, NOx released due to the fossil fuel and also the biomass are quite enormous in nature. So, therefore, uh, we will be uh, looking at more aspect of this uh, chemical emission from combustion in the next lecture. We will stop over here. Thank you very much.